What's going on you guys? It's your friend Purple Grizzly. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. Uh, so I got some more Black Ops 3 for you. I know, awesome, right? Got some uh, KN44 gameplay. I, You know, I always want to call this the AK-47 because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I mean, this is this game's version of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I got some cool kind of clutch moments where I just, you know, I just start smacking some fools. That's just how it is. It's how I roll. So for the commentary today, I want to tell you guys a life story. I used to do a lot of these in the past, haven't so much recently, uh, so we hope you guys get a kick out of it. Alright, so this happened uh, under a year ago. This is pretty recent. Um, one day, I got off work pretty early, so uh, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go do some uh, do some thrift shopping. I'm going to go hit up you know, the thrift store, find some sweet clothes, you know, all that good stuff. Um, <laughs> so I went to a uh, local Salvation Army thrift store. I was walking around there for a little bit, uh, you know, got a cool t-shirt, I don't remember, I think it was, <laughs> I think it was like a Coney 2012 shirt or something, um, I was like, I'm buying this for a dollar, uh, so I'm walking out, and there's this homeless guy, and he's like, hey man, you got any change, and you know, I think, I think all of us, you know, have at least been asked for change once by a homeless guy, um, I try, I try to be, you know, a decent human being, a nice person, um, and I, you know, I didn't give him any money, but I was like, hey dude, I'll... I'll buy you some food if you want, because, you know, in the same parking lot, there was a uh, grocery store. So I was like, yeah, dude, I'll get you some food if you want. He's like, yeah, man, that'd be awesome. And, um, <laughs> you know, I, I was when I was saying that, I felt like I was giving off the impression that I was going to go in and buy him food and bring it back to him. Uh, but I think he may have taken it like, uh, okay, I'm going to join you, and we're going to go grocery shopping together. So he gets up, he follows me, and we're walking towards the store, and uh, this guy, I'm not sure if he was like totally all mentally there, he was talking really fast, he was being like, hey, hey, hey man, you, you know, like, like he was kind of talking like that, um, and I swear, the first thing he says, he's like, he's like, hey man, you know, I was in the, I was in the Bay Area one time, and these black guys hit me in the head with some cinder blocks, <laughs> and, you know, I didn't really know how to respond to that, let alone that was the first thing he tells me. Um, but yeah, I told him my name, told me his name, I think his name was Donnie or something. That's a great homeless person named Donnie. So we go into the grocery store, and uh, we go to like this little sandwich area, and he just, he goes straight for the biggest like sub King Kong sandwich there is in this whole place. And uh, I was like, you know, I'll just spend a couple extra bucks on this guy's fat sandwich so I can... I mean, you know, I'll, I know he's going to eat well today, so I was like, whatever. And then on the whole the whole way to the registry, he's like, hey, man, hey, man, can I get this? Can I get some of these cookies, man? And then, um, you know, I'm like, yes, okay, f like, just grab it. And then we're in the checkout, and he's like, he's like, oh, man, man, I need one of these. I'm like, yes, you can have a Slim Jim. And uh, <laughs> so so we check out, and then, uh, you know, I'm at the point, I'm like, okay, we're going to part ways now. This is, where, this is where I leave him, this is where I continue on doing what I'm doing, this is where he's going to be doing what he's doing, and he's like, hey man, where do you live? And I was like, oh, here we go. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm actually going to my parents' house right now, it's across town. He's like, hey man, can I can I get a ride over to the coffee shop over across town? And I'm like, uh, sure, why not? Yeah, I'll give you a ride. And um, I was like, what am I doing? Um, so... so we, we start headed for this coffee shop. We're on our way across town. He's like, hey, man, I, I, I need to stop at the post office because there might be some mail for me that would really help me out. And I'm like, dude, I got to I gotta get going, man. Like, I got to go to my parents' house. And he's like, he's like, dude, it will help me out so much if there's some money there for me. And I'm like, okay, fine. But I'll take you, to the, take you to the post office. And so we get there, and I'm sitting in my car for, like, 15 minutes waiting for this guy just thinking like what am I doing right now and he comes out does with nothing that I can see and doesn't give me any kind of progress report and just he's like oh okay man let's go and then I'm like alright so we start heading for the coffee shop and this guy the whole time is like just just babbling the most random like topics to me and telling me all this information about how he likes to cook New York strips and like the last time he had interactions with a woman and it's pretty much everything that you can imagine that I don't really want to know about this guy and uh and then he's like hey man we should go score some weed <laughs> and I'm like dude no I'm not gonna go score weed with you number one I don't smoke weed number two I'm not gonna buy it for you and then uh he's like he's like oh okay he's like but man I got this I got this story for you and he's like, he's like, one time I found this $20 bill and I saw this guy and he sold me this jar of weed. And I was like, 
okay? And he's like, he's like, as a matter of fact, I still have that jar. And he reaches into his pocket. And he's having, like, a really, really hard time pulling out whatever, <laughs> whatever's in his pocket. Like, his hand's in there, and he's, like, he's struggling to pull this jar out. And, uh, you know, keep in mind, like, I don't know this guy, and so we're on the freeway. You know, I'm driving, you know, 65 miles an hour, and <laughs> and this whole time, like, I'm, like, one eye's on the road, one eye's on this guy's hand. I have my, like, I'm holding on the steering wheel with one hand, my other hand, I'm, like, ready to, like, block a knife strike or, <laughs> or something like that. You know, this guy's, like, taking forever, and uh, I don't know if he's going to do something crazy, because, I, you know, I, I'm kind of questioning this guy's sanity. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, after, after, like, five minutes, he actually gets this jar out of his pocket and he's like oh here's the jar it was like nothing special at all it was just you know i guess i guess to him it's what was special was what was once in the jar um <laughs> but he was he was he was out alas um and uh so we keep we keep going uh we fi we finally get to the coffee shop and i have okay so like this is just a little ways after uh saint patrick's day i have these green plastic beads like hanging off of my mirror in my car and he's like, he's like, hey man, are these, are these real? And they're like Mardi Gras beads, like they're just those plastic beads. I'm like, no, they're plastic. And he's like, he's like, hey man, these, these are, t these are tight, man. Can, can I have these? And I'm like, <sighs> just on the inside, I'm just like, dude, I got you a sandwich. I took you to, to the freaking post office, dude. I almost hypothetically got into a knife fight with you. Um, and I'm like, yes, you can have my green necklace. And, uh, so we, we put it on and then we get to the coffee store and, uh, he, he's just like, Hey, we can, I forgot what he asked me. He just wanted something else. And I was just like, what dude, just whatever, just take it, please just leave me. Uh, and, and, you know, like I wasn't like, I wasn't mean or kind of standoffish to this guy, but it was, it was just very, it got to the point where it's like, how much more is this guy going to ask me for? Um, but you know, I try, I try to be a nice human being, try to help others out who are less fortunate than myself. Um, and yeah, so I mean, he, oh, and the last thing he said to me, he's like, he's like, Hey man, you ever see these guys hassling me? I want you to call 911. I want you to call the police department, get them arrested. And I want you to do a background check on each and every one of the people harassing me. And I, it's only going to cost you like $20. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. Like, I'm going to get a background check on people. And, uh... Yeah, he got out of the car and just kind of like went over to the coffee shop and I was like, I just did a homeless man's errands for him. So that's the story for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like rating. Uh, that would help the video out and it would also show me that you like videos like this and that you want me to make more of them. Um, and also, if you're unfamiliar with who I am, my name is Purple Grizzly. Nice to meet you. I love you already. Um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't think you'd regret that decision. Anyway, though, I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day. Peace out.